Hello, this is the Night Hammer, and welcome to Let's Play Arma Cold War Assault. Now, I know this game by a very different name. I know this game by Operation Flashpoint Cold War Crisis. After it came out, Bohemian Interactive left their... I believe it was their publisher, which was Codemasters at the time... They left their publisher, and Codemasters got the rights to the name while they got the rights to the game. So, that's why the Operation F Flashpoint Dragon Rising, I think it was, that's why that thing failed so hard in my opinion, because it was nothing like what I was expecting. Because at the time I did not realize that the Arma series was the successor to Operation Flashpoint, and not Operation Flashpoint. So, there's that little history lesson. But, uh, I played this game a lot in my youth. I believe I got to the third to last mission of the campaign, but never really beat it. I kind of always clicked into the mission editor and got engrossed with that, which is the case with all Arma games with me. To the point that currently, as it stands, Arma th what is out for Arma 3's campaign is the only campaign I have complete other than the Resistance campaign on the Xbox version of Operation Flashpoint, but I don't want to talk about that. Uh, that port is bad, and late, and... Ugh. Right, so we're going to play campaign. See, I've already played a bit of this, so we're going to revert all the way back to the beginning. And I'm going to go until probably the beginning of the first mission, then do this by mission by mission basis as far as episodes go so let's get to work Now, I haven't seen too many Let's Plays of this game anywhere. And that kind of disappoints me, because I love this game. I actually think this game is really good. Hey, Kozlowski, you, you meathead. I was listening to that. Hey, you guys, enough already. It's bad enough being cooped up in this miserable lump of rock without having to share it with the two of you. In Bonn, the now G shut up and you might learn something. Today after three days of negotiations, representatives were successful on measures to curb inflation, but were unable to reach a consensus on a global anti-drugs program. The U.S. President, Ronald Reagan, described the talks as a major step forward. Yee -hee. On uh, over the Soviet Union. Pipe down, team. children. Mikhail Gorbachev, the new General Secretary of the Communist Party, you kind of do get a sense for who all these characters the are, but I really grows. wish there were the names to go with the uh, with the captions here, reform. so you can know so who is who and who's choices. talking. The head of the KGB, Nikolai Stronsky, is reported to have left for his DACA in the Crimea with a number of senior military figures, but official Kremlin sources deny any split. Sport now. And Czechoslovakia has won the World Ice Hockey Championship after defeating the Canada 5-3 at home girl. in Prague. Meathead! You stink, Fowley. I don't know, Armstrong. If our tour wasn't up next week, I'd seriously consider swimming home. <laughs> what is this, a tea party? You ladies were due on the parade ground ten minutes ago. Now get your asses out there or I'll have them stitched in the foot. Oh, I love some of the New weird Jersey. camera angles and stuff, because everything's in... Everything in this game is done on the in-game engine. This is one of, actually, the first games where I, where all the, that I've played where all the cutscenes were like that. But due to the bugginess of the Virtual Battle Space engine, which I believe this is VBS 1... that y things just could get wonky. Valley, get those shoulders back. Stand up straight, Kozlowski. That's more like it. If I were a Russian, I'd take one look at you bunch What's funny of is that girls and laugh all the way to the US even with all these little frame stutterings caused by fraps, 
This is still better FPS than I originally played the game on. So before I ship you out, I'm gonna shape you up. Armstrong! If anyone needs to shape up, Armstrong, it's you. I've seen sumo wrestlers with flatter stomachs than yours. Can you see that truck over there, soldier? Can you? Sprint there! Now move your ass! Armstrong, you see that truck on the left? Run to it and back. Hurry up. No. Yeah, what is fun? I hate all these little tutorials. But uh, even with all these little frame drops and frame skips actually caused by running fraps with this, I'm still playing it at a better FPS and it looks more playable than I used to. Okay, Armstrong, now run back. Move! Move! Like, well, I probably play this back at like 10, 15 frames per second on my old computer. Well, and I still like that. Line and put your gun on your back. So this was an FPS that when I started playing... This was an FPS that was different than anything else I'd played at the time. There's a truck waiting for us by the gate. Hurry up. For one, uh, the rail shooter type, moving the cursor around the screen before you actually turn. I think you can turn it off, but I'm not going to. Another thing is a little menu system that you kind of see pop up, like there it is in the lower right, where you could do different things. I always thought that was that was pretty cool, a good way of interacting with the world. And this mission would go so much better if I didn't have those tutorials. also really the first sandbox type game I ever played. And we'll get to the sandbox games later after the first, or the sandbox part of the game later after the first couple of missions. Because really, probably until mission four or five, we're essentially still in training. And it'll get less and less cutscene heavy as it goes. third person kind of have a look out at the the island here after we get out of the truck if I wanted to I could run anywhere I wanted on the island but uh stuff like that's gonna We're be here. later ah uh, the cheater third person view Doing some of these movements in the third person view, especially this, you can actually kind of see how parts of the character model are actually pr actually pretty flat, for the most part. Now it's time to prove yourself. Armstrong, you seem to think you're pretty good. You can go and first. there's Run my phone. The between the two blocks, then back to us. Get moving, soldier! Go for it, kid! Go, go, go! Who do you think you are? An old lady? 
But some of the animations are actually pretty true to life. I remember being in the army and doing the low crawl. Okay, Armstrong, now run back! Move! Move! Well, Armstrong, that wasn't bad. Now the rest of you, go! 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 Oh, the AI. So many problems maneuvering. The AI in this game can be punishingly hard and at the same time hilariously stupid. There are just lots of cool features in this game, like these drivers. In most other games, if you're in a vehicle, you're in, you know, you're safe unless the vehicle is destroyed. But in this game, like this canvas top over this 5 ton, you can shoot through it. You can kill guys in it. You can shoot through the glass. Some uh, weapons even penetrate the doors and such. But I think that's only heavier weapons, like, uh... The 50 cal and up. I don't think this game has real has realistic bullet penetration modeling like Arma 3 has, but that's more like just stuff they just tend to add. Come on, bro. Yeah, this is this is part of the stupid random things that happen in the virtual battle space engine well, with this stupid AI. Crawl! For extended driving scenes with vehicles, I'm generally going to pop in a third person view. Just to have something better to look at. We're here. Disembark. Did he, like, damage his leg or something? Oh, the archaic gear. Okay, Armstrong, you take the third land. Peterson, the first one. Ready to fire? Fire at will! Target one in the third lane destroyed. Target two in the third lane destroyed. Target three in the third lane destroyed. Good work, Armstrong. Now, the rest of you. Also, this is the first game where you could aim down sights that I ever played. And I think I'm going to call an episode after the end of this cutscene here. James Gostowski. Christ, George, you scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I'm keeping fine. Sarah's fine too, I guess. Tell you the truth, I ain't seen her for months. Business? Terrible. But look, what's this all about? 
You're kidding me. No, I ain't heard nothing. And the mystery deepens. Well, Jesus, George. There's 10,000 people in that town. They can't just have stopped talking to us. I like how he's well, like halfway off the I chair. Be right over. Well, he's supposed to be centered in there. And I think <sighs> Good VBS craziness. His name is Gustavsky. James Gustavsky. Profession? Secret agent. And part-time ninja. Good to see you, boys. We're ready. Nice to see you again, James. You'll be read further along the route. Good luck. Well, looks like things are heating up in the, what is now called the Armaverse, but I'll have to save that for next time. This is the Nighthammer, signing off. Enjoy the rest of the cutscene.